Okay, we're doing quite well. I might... <gasps> Did I just broke my... Did I do that? I must have done that. I think I just broke my, uh, base. <laughs> the next plan of attack? I have no idea. It's two signals. We've checked both those life pods. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna... I'm gonna rename this locker to... Signals. There we go. And I'm gonna go into my inventory. And we've already checked these out, so I'm gonna take these off my... Equipment slot. Now we've done that. I'm going to put these in the signals locker because we've already checked them out. And, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to go see if there are any more signals. Our base is coming along. We've got a battery charger. We've got a biomass generator. So, any other messages? Message. This is LifePod 17, coordinates attached. Looks like the Sea Moth Bay collapsed around me. Do not attempt rescue without laser cutters. You'll only add to the body count. LifePod 17, out! Okay. LifePod 17. severe dehydration oh. detected. Seek fluid intake immediately. Where did all my water go? I thought I was okay for water, but um, I guess not. All right, we need to find some bladder fish. Otherwise, I'll be in base drinking coffee for hours and hours. No bladder fish down there. No bladder fish. Spade fish, biters. Lots of biters, no bladder fish. How did I get thirsty so quickly? Time flies. Time absolutely flies when you're having fun. Did I see did I see a bladderfish? No, I didn't see a bladderfish. I'm seeing a Gary fish. Been a while since I've picked up a Gary fish. Okay, we found oh, there we go. We have found a bladder fish. We found two more. Don't run away. We need bladder fish. We need water. And then we'll go on our little mission. A little bit of lag. Come back here. And while we're here, copper. I always need copper and I can never seconds. find these rocks when I'm looking for them okay go 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 what is that what is that oh it's a reef bag It's a reef back that has beached, I think. Or is it? Yeah, okay. Lots of reef backs. It's a reef back that's over the surface of the water. Okay. So we'll head back. I am so, so low on water. I didn't realize I was 300 meters away from the pod. I guess I'm going to find out what happens if I run out of water. Still 180 meters away. Warning. Dehydration level critical. Metabolic yep. processes disrupted. Okay, I guess I lose oh. health. Yeah, I'm losing health.
Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, quick drink, drink, drink. And apparently I had water anyway that I didn't realize I had. Okay. All right. And cook. And we will use more filtered water. I think may, what may have happened is I picked up water and then I forgot to drink it and that's why my water situation got so bad so quickly. Alright, so we can have the cooked Gary fish, which isn't very filling. We can use the med kit to get up to 84. And after that emergency, we can finally, finally go have a look and see what happened with the Seamoth Bay collapsing around one of the Life pods, life pods 17. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go away. Alright. So, once again, keeping an eye on the seabed in case we come across any fragments or plans. But there don't seem to be any, and this is actually quite close to my base as well. Seamoth fragment. Another- every one of these pods has a large hole in the side. There's PDA. Which is a crew log. Now, one thing I should point out because someone asked me is why don't I read the PDA? All the PDAs I've been picking up. I've been picking up PDAs since I started playing this game, but I don't read any of them. And they give me information about the game, and they give me information about the world we're in. That Reginald is infected. Okay, I was going to eat that, Reginald, but it seems to be infected with something. Hello, shark. But, uh, yeah, off the topic again. Um, 30 seconds. Yeah, the reason I'm not reading the PDAs and giving you guys backstories and giving you guys interesting side plots or subplots is because this is an early access game and I don't want to ruin it all for you. I don't want to ruin the story for you. There's a lot more story here. You guys are seeing the action but you're not getting the history, you're not getting the background. And this is a whole world you can delve into, and there are a heck of a lot of PDA entries, there are a heck of a lot of database entries, and I read them, but I don't want to go over them with you guys because, as I say, I don't want to ruin the story for you. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, the PDA, there's so much stuff here, that basically, these are all the messages, but um, you can go through this. Uh, this is stuff you've seen yourself. So let's just get rid of all of these because I've been following them. I've been listening to them. Okay. And we've got six new blueprints, so we can build a mobile vehicle bay. Can build a power transmitter. A bioreactor we've done. Bar table. Okay. So yeah, the PDA stuff. Um, yeah, the data bank, it's all down here. You can see data downloads or data downloads. There's side missions or side stories. We've got Aurora survivors. So these are the guys I'm looking for. Um, I might as well show you one. So we've got a rendezvous voice log. Um, so we have to go back out there. We can't be the only two that made it. These are not the orders the captain gave me. They're not the orders that I'm giving you. It goes into a lot of stuff. Um, so these are my final orders. Rendezvous was a failure. Intercepted a transmission from Altera HQ. Couldn't hear all the details. They sent a data package to the Aurora. Uh, that's your best hope. Consider CTUU and I K I A keen out. Um, so there's a lot of stuff here that you pick up from the PDAs that give you the background story.
but I don't want to go into that. I don't want to ruin it with you. Um, so structural ana uh, analysis, scattered wreckage. Uh, the Degassi survivors, they're the guys that built the base on the island I've just been on, on the last couple of episodes. So there's information here as to uh, basically um, what happened to them uh, and what happened to their base. And then you've got uh, even more information regarding search and rescue for trying to get the Tagasi survivors back. You've got information on the life pods, the data packages I've been picking up on the life pods that give me more information as to what happened with the life pod or what happened to the crew members. Um, alien data we just picked up on the alien pipe system. Um, so apparently there are aliens, although everything on this planet is an alien, but it um, gives me more information on structures I may come across. We've got alien life forms, 48 of them here that I've been scanning that will give me more information. Geology I've checked. Um, technical gives me information about habitat, equipments, power, vehicles. Um, I could go over these, but um, you know, they're, they're not exactly interesting. So the Cyclops is the most popular and reliable deep sea submersible in the galaxy. By comparison to the competition, it can be crewed by just one pilot, hence the name it features and it gives you technical information on various things so um, I could go into all of this with you guys but I don't want to ruin the story I don't want to sort of kill all of these side plots or subplots there's so much in this game that basically I don't want to ruin it um, so if I go through the story modes with you and I go through all the uh, various data logs and things I pick up it's it's just it's not going to be as much fun if you guys decide to pick it up so um, that's essentially why I'm not reading the data packages as I pick them up. Um, anyway, uh, we are going to go back into my inventory because we've just checked out LifePod 17 and there wasn't anything there. The crew, once again, are missing. So we'll put the signal in there. I don't need it messing up my UI as I'm trying to swim around the place. And um, this is... full. Yep, yeah, okay. And the bioreact mass reactor is going. Yep, and uh, yeah, we are fine. We are doing well. So how are we doing for food and water? We could do a little, a little bit more food. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up, pick up marble melon. We're going to eat marble melon, and my food is looking a little bit better. Twenty-two and fifteen. There we go. We're at one hundred percent. So then I'm going to go. I'm going to cut. Oh, it's growing. So there's one that's done. So we're going to cut a marble melon, and then we're going to replant it into the spare places. We've got one marble melon seed, and I can dump that into the biomass reactor. And it's gone. Okay, excellent. So, anyway, yeah, um, that's the story. They're all growing nicely. We could... We could build maybe... A couple more. I don't really want to build another grow bed, but what we could do is maybe just while we're here and we have titanium, we could build a couple of composite, yeah, composite plant pots. And then I'm going to. <laughs> I need to sort out my equipment. I've got too many pieces of equipment and not enough slots. So we can chop that one up again and we can use the planter. We'll plant one. And how many can we get in here? We can get four. I didn't realize the pots were this big. We can actually get four in here. And once they're planted, I can't get them back out. Okay. All right, so we'll plant one, and one, and two. I'm wondering if I plant more or less in these things, whether or not the watermelons would get bigger. I have no idea, but we planted four in there, and we've got one left, and it's inedible, so we'll throw that into the biomass reactor. Yeah, we're doing quite well. I might... <gasps> Did I just broke my... 
did I do that? I must have done that. I think I just broke my uh, base. <laughs> Is that, did I really do that? I did. Ah. It's very, very easy to break then. Okay, this base is very, very easy to break. Um, all right, so everything, everything is looking fine. All right, so no idea what I'm about to do next. Okay, what are you? Uh, just, whoa. Alright, I just came across a strange creature. I'm uh, currently grinding. I'm not even recording, I'm just grinding. Whoa! Okay, those things are hot. Yeah, I'm just grinding. And I just came across, um, came across a strange creature and it just disappeared. I was gonna move in and scan it, but it just disappeared. Come on. Four. Uh, there we go. Very close. All right. So we found um, we found some sort of volcanoes or thermal vents or something. Uh, I'm just grinding and um, came across this little area I hadn't seen before. Well, seen something like it, but not with thermal vents and things. And a creature I'd never seen before. It seems to have disappeared. Oh, wow, 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 wow. We've just found a wreck. We have found a wreck. This is a huge wreck, and I have no idea. There it is. There's that creature I was telling you about. Was this a prawn suit grappling arm? We have just found a huge wreck. Oh, this thing is ginormous. And I just used my last beacon. I have no more beacons. 30 seconds. Uh, how deep are we? We're 200 meters down. Okay. Oxygen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, 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 go. This is going to be close. This is going to be very, very close. We're out of oxygen. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, so we're currently about 600 meters away from the pod. But I can't get an exact direction, but uh, this seems to be a huge, huge wreck down here. And even diving straight up and straight down, I'm losing it. A lot of wreckage. I was actually grinding for quartz, that's what I'm doing. Another... Oh, this time it's a drill arm. Yeah, some sort of... Where'd it go? What's this? nutrient block. <laughs> I ran out of nutrient blocks on a recent episode. I was saying I wouldn't have a taste from home again. I was wrong. This is a big, big wreck. There's a lot of stuff down here. 30 seconds. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oxygen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, quick, 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 quick. This is an absolutely huge wreck. As I say, 600 meters away from the pod. Um, yeah, okay, I'm going to have to see if I can find this place again. I've used my uh, three 
use my three, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, what do you call them? Three beacons. I am going to have to come back here. I'm gonna go and see if I can get a beacon. I found a bigger entrance to those jelly shroom caves, so what I think I'm gonna do is make my way back. And try and find I think it's there. Try and find the the original beacon. And I'm gonna move that back. I'm gonna pick up this jelly caves thing. Because I found another entrance that was bigger. And I'm gonna go back. Trying to find that wreck. And I think we've just found it. We've just found it. Okay, so let's take this here. There we go. It is marked. Let's get some air. So while we're here, we're also going to go back to the island. Because there's food on the island, but also when I was going over the videos for the island, I realized that I'd left a PDA behind. While I was going through the wreckage of one of those two uh, ships, I had actually missed a PDA. I walked right over it. so. That is what I'm going back to the island for. And also, one of you guys suggested that I use the propulsion cannon. You wanted to see that in action, so that's what we're going to do as well. So... That's where I fell into the water. I fell off that. Huh? So we need to try and huh? 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 make our way back. Don't know if this huh? path leads up the hill. No, it goes down. Okay, I might as well go down here. I know where I am, so let's just check to see if there's anything we missed last time around. That just seems to be the edge of the island. Following the path, I'm sure it leads somewhere. Okay, we found another PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, that's pretty awesome. We're just following the footpath. This is where all those crab things were. I can hear one. Okay, propulsion cannon. Let's try this thing. Right. Okay. Bon voyage. Okay, propulsion cannon is working. Let's see if there are any more of those things. There was one down. Ah. Oh, I can pick up rocks as well. Nope. That's pretty cool. Okay, there is the propulsion cannon in action. And now we're going in the right direction. Although I'm not sure which of these... I think this is the wrong one, but we'll check it anyway. Is this where I forgot the... No, is this... There is a PDA here I forgot to pick up. There we go. Integrating new PDA data. Gotta pick up some lantern fruit. 
Okay. Yeah. Ouch. There we go. I think we are done with the island. Huh? Now, which side? Huh? Oh, it's over there. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Huh? Woo! 